uh, networking within RTP specifically has been a huge deal for me. Um, what was brought and more powerful was the fact that through RTP, I had made all these connections at with people that worked in administration at treatment centers and to help three different women get into treatment because I knew because I had email addresses because I had Facebook Messenger because I could contact people directly and say that I was able to reach out in that capacity directly to someone and that that's thanks to RTP through um, networking with other professionals. That is yes. so amazing and you know that's why we're talking about this today is because so much is possible when you just open yourself up to things that maybe you've not done before or even thought as an avenue for connecting and collaborating with other people. So many different opportunities can occur and that's the type of thing that we like to foster inside of the Recovery to Practice virtual community and so I want to pause just My name is Jana McGee and I am a certified peer recovery support specialist and a trainer and I have been part of the recovery to practice um, online group I think since its inception or pretty darn close and I don't know what I would do without it because I have met so many fascinating helpful people who translate into resources. I have been able to share things with people that were heard. I felt heard. I've come up with more resources. I've had so many opportunities that I would have never had without my activity and being a part of the RTP group. I, I, I absolutely love it. It's where I spend most of my Facebook time. Jordan is one of our Recovery to Practice group moderators and he says, the group has been helpful to me in my mental health recovery because while I am looking for employment as a peer support specialist, I still have responsibilities that keep me somewhat busy, which is important for my mental health. People should join the RTP group because this group is a great source for networking and resources. A group like RTP is important because it brings together professionals from different areas and makes finding resources a lot easier. After finding recovery to practice while in Texas, Naitha returned to England. She says, at times, RTP and the members were my sounding board, giving me courage to be brave and strength to speak up. The resources have been a godsend when trying to spread the word of the benefits of recovery. Thank you. Thank you. So I'm Brooke. I am a person in recovery from both mental health issues and substance use disorder. I found recovery to practice um, through Facebook suggestions and um, I found out that not only did I have a place in the recovery community as far as substance use disorder and of course that it was called substance use disorder, not uh, substance abuse, things like that. Um, I found that I also had a place in the mental health community and, and so being able to find that sense of identity that I belonged not only in one place but in both places together and um, it meant a lot for me um, at that point so yeah that is how recovery to practice um, taught me who I am <laughs> Hello, my name is Ivan Tapia, CEO of Aliviane in El Paso, Texas. We're a nonprofit that provides um, substance abuse prevention, intervention, treatment, and recovery support services. Um, I've been part of the virtual community for now for several years since it began. And uh, though I'm not very active in Facebook, I found the tool to be very useful. Um, a few months ago, one of my staff members was asked to do a presentation out in the community about about recovery and, and what we how we help people in the community recover from addiction. And the person that I was sending out there wasn't a clinician. They were out, uh, it was a community director that goes out there and does presentations. And it just so happened that that morning I was on the virtual community and seen, um, it was like a picture, a drawing, explaining what recovery was. And I told my staff member, hold on, I'll, I have a tool that can help you. So I, I, I went back onto the virtual community, got that picture, downloaded, gave it to him, and waited when he came back. And he said that that was a huge success, that people were able to grasp that because the people he was presenting to had no idea 
what recovery was. I, I'm constantly looking at it, I get notifications daily, so I'll look at it and skim through it, and some of that information is very useful. And for me, especially with my busy schedule, it helps me sort out through all the information that you can access on the internet that's important, has already been vetted by other people that are working in recovery. And so I've found that information to be very useful for myself as a CEO and for my staff. One of our counselors in the group, Kara, says, I've been so grateful to be part of the RTP community. It's given me the chance to connect with colleagues, old and new, get exposed to new ideas and resources for helping my clients who are seeking or in recovery, and to be part of a network of people who are at the cutting edge of recovery work. I have enjoyed being notified about new events, news, conferences, and research around recovery, and getting the chance to go through Carrie's Facebook live coverage to meetings or events I wouldn't have been able to see otherwise. I just wanted to say that I really have enjoyed being part of the Recovery to Practice group. It gives us a forum to talk about things that we normally wouldn't discuss, and it gives us an opportunity to interact with people we normally wouldn't interact. It helps me expand my thinking and also gives me a sounding board for ideas and venues that are um, on my plate and also gives me an opportunity to put some input into other people's things. Another one of our group members, Michelle, says this, As a future multidisciplinary practitioner, the RTP is my go-to community for support, making connections, collaborating, networking, and beyond. The RTP community is on the cutting edge of pioneering recovery and has been an invaluable tool and resource for my professional journey as well as my personal growth. The influx of information and topics are thought-provoking, refreshing, and educational. Love my RTP community. I knew that I knew that these people at least followed some ethical guidelines and so anything I said or did could um, if it was wrong or inappropriate could be corrected in an ethical respectful fashion or they could you know they could guide me in my professional journey. But I wanted to let you know my thoughts on the recovery of practice curriculum and what the benefit in the classroom is and has been for me. Um, I'll tell you it is chock full of recovery resources, addiction counseling resources, so many things that I educate my students on on a daily basis and it's all right there. Whenever we get feedback on it, we're always willing to make addendums to it, uh, make edits to it. Uh, and I believe it's a wonderful way to bring all of our resources together in all areas of academia and uh, give all of our students together the best possible resources and education that we can so we can get some folks out into the field from here and have those folks at the top of their game in the addiction profession. I was impressed by how thorough the curriculum is and how many um, links there are to outside sources that we could use for either clients or for just in our own training. Well this is also, it's only, it's not only a good resource as a student moving forward, you know, graduating, but I also have friends who are count, like future counselors, future LPCs, and this is also, you know, a good resource for them so they have more resources under their tool belt. So it's more of, you know, a domino effect where like if I hear something good about this I can share it with my friend. And if it is online, like recovery practices, it is very easy for me to recommend this to somebody. And I've really liked how in-depth the resources have gone and how many different kinds of resources there are. Not only videos, but journal articles, apps, etc. Hello, my name is Rich Rosing. I'm in part of the Recovery to Practice Facebook page. One of the most dynamic pages that I've seen in a long time for people to address recovery. The mix of people that are part of this community gives so many resources for people seeking recovery, but it is also a way for people to share different ideas and different platforms and ways to help people get into recovery. I've been a member of the Addiction Technology Transfer Center since 1993, and also Houston Community College's Human Service Technology Program. And by far, this is one of the most effective Facebook groups that I've been around in order to assist the overall group of people that are part of the recovery movement. 
and I strongly encourage all of my students to join and any professional to join the Recovery to Practice Facebook page.